More U.S. surveillance revelations. This time, the amount of domestic internet traffic the NSA watches is much higher than originally thought. A new report from the Wall Street Journal indicates the NSA combs through as much as 75 percent of all U.S. internet traffic in its hunt for foreign intelligence. Retaining written con content in emails and filtering domestic phone calls made over the web. Of course, that's more than we previously thought. The NSA allegedly collects this data through programs with names like Fairview, Oakstar, and Lithium. Data flows in through major internet junctions at multiple locations in the U.S. And that's with the cooperation of telecommunications providers. Such a high volume of domestic traffic appears to clash with the NSA's previously cited figures for its global reach. It claimed it only touches 1.6 percent of worldwide Internet traffic. This new report indicates much more raw data flows into the system. The Verge explains a series of refinements where the NSA first negotiates with Internet providers to tap into potentially threatening communications, then decides what parts of that information it wants to keep which could mean that the NSA does indeed touch only 1.6 percent of the world's Internet traffic at any given moment. But again, it can make those decisions based on the actual contents of those communications, not merely metadata, according to the journal. And as a writer for TechCrunch points out, there's still the problem of the NSA getting to choose its data from the huge domestic stream. So the NSA was perhaps technically telling the truth or something near to it without admitting far deeper and pervasive surveillance efforts. However, the data is pooled on NSA servers, and that simply is not fine with me. In the Wall Street Journal article, the NSA reiterated its programs are not targeted at U.S. residents. In the event of intercepted domestic communication, the agency follows minimization procedures that are approved by the U.S. Attorney General and designed to protect the privacy of United States persons. It's not clear how effective these measures have been, though. Previous reports indicate the NSA has committed thousands of privacy transgressions a year, some of which courts ruled violations of the Fourth Amendment. For Newsy, I'm Megan Murphy.